Well, hello there. Welcome once more to Quantura's Kitchen. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'd like to say a very warm aquaba to you. Today I'm sharing with you a recipe on jollof rice and this is seafood jollof rice. This one right here was such a big hit in my household and I hope it is in yours too when you try it. My kids and husband love, love this. So for this recipe you will need some scallops, shrimp, some curry powder, some extra virgin olive oil or any oil of choice. I have tomato sauce, like pasta sauce, but that's my homemade one. My rice, some salmon, half of an onion, some bay leaves. These are basically all you need. So I'm going to start off by marinating all my seafood. And you could use any seafood of choice. You don't necessarily need to use what I used. So I put some salt and black pepper on my shrimp. And you could have it with your skin removed. I like it this way and it's totally your choice if you're using shrimp how you want to have it. So I'm just going to mix this up and I'll set it aside and proceed with my scallops. So here's my scallops and when I got it from the store I came back home and one of them was like all squished up. I mean technically I should remove it from the video but this is practical everyday life and even if I took it out I was still going to cook it. That thing is so expensive I'm not going to throw it away because it's messed up. So I did the same with salt and pepper on that and for my salmon I put some salt and now I'm adding some cilantro lime seasoning and some olive oil and I'm going to mix it all together you know like smear it on my fish and set it aside to marinate. So I pour some olive oil into my pot and that I'm going to fry my shrimp in. And I, like I said, you could use any oil of choice. So I'm frying the shrimp uh, almost like, I'm not deep frying, but I'm trying to let it uh, come out looking like how it would have been if I deep fried it. I'm not just like, you know, doing it like a stir fry kind of shrimp. I'm really frying it because I want it to crisp up. And so I let it cook on that one side and now I'm about to turn them over so the top part will cook and that is it. And this I cook for a total of about five minutes, you know, constantly stirring because I'm not really deep frying. And at this point the shrimp is all cooked so I'm going to remove them so we can go ahead and make our stew. So now that the shrimp is all out, I'm going to add my sliced onions to the same oil that I used to fry the shrimp. And this is going to assure you of like great, great flavor. You know, we normally put shrimp stock cubes or shrimp powder in our stews and sauces to bring out that flavor. So just imagine that the oil infused with all that shrimp flavors, what it will bring to your stew. And I've added some curry powder. I love curry powder and if you love it just go ahead and I'm going to add some smoked paprika. This was recommended to me by one of my subscribers and ever since I tried it I've loved it. I've always had smoked paprika in my house but I used it for other things except for jollof rice and using that in your jollof rice is going to give you like it's some bomb kind of jollof rice. The flavors, the aromas that it brings amazing, amazing. So thank you mommy for that recommendation. And now that it's a little bit cooked, I added my tomato sauce. Uh, this is my homemade tomato sauce, like pasta sauce, but you could also use pasta sauce from the store if you want. This is just a quick way of making jollof. And so I have my tomato sauce already and that will make me cook faster and it's delicious. So I would recommend this sauce if you want, you could make it, but if you can just go ahead and buy a store bought one, a good brand, and you can make it your love that way. And now I've added some bay leaves and I'm just going to let this cook just for about 20 minutes because that sauce is already done like how I prepared it so I recommend you watch that video and even if you buy the jar one it's already cooked so you just let it cook about 20 minutes for the flavors to infuse and be well incorporated and you add your rice so I washed my rice and as you can see when I poured it in it still had some liquid this so was like a lazy day jollof I was making I was just trying to make something quick and fast that the family loves and they like it soft anyway so it doesn't matter and I added my salt 
and that is always going to be according to your taste and now i'm going to add some water and that was four cups of rice that i cooked and i added a total of three cups of water plus what was on the rice so i would say a little bit more than three cups and it's all according to how you want it so i've covered my jollof to cook and now i'm going to concentrate more on my salmon i'm going to go ahead and grill it so i'm using my large cast iron grilling pan and i have sprayed it with some cooking spray and now i am cooking my fish as you can see and whilst i let it cook on that side i am also going to go ahead and check on my jollof as you know it requires a lot of stirring so i'm just going to stir so every part of it gets a chance to cook evenly and on time and then i'll just cover it back and so here we go and three minutes of the salmon cooking on that side i am flipping them now because that grill pan was pretty hot and as you see it's cooked beautifully on this side and so i'm going to be turning it on each side for every part of it to cook i love that grilling pan just look at the grill marks it gives your fish or whatever you cook on it so beautiful So my salmon is all cooked now and I'm just transferring them from the grill pan into a plate and I'll let it cool off a little bit and later on I'm going to just flake it up and add it to the jollof. And now I'm going to focus on the scallops. So I put some olive oil, more olive oil in a pan and I'm adding my seasoned scallop and I'm just going to let it cook like two and a half minutes on each side and that is all because it's it will be cooked anyway but of course it's also going to be cooked in the jollof so you know it is assured that you're not going to get any you know seafood poisoning or anything like that and so i'm just flipping these and i have to tell you whilst i'm doing this my little boy constantly comes to me pulling me crying pointing to the shrimp and he's enjoying that shrimp i'm like i need to have some shrimp in the video i'm cooking uh, making a recipe but hey he loves it so let him just eat it i hope he eats the scallops too because that is soft enough i had to peel the shrimp but he loved it and so here we are this is doing beautiful i keep on turning every now and then i just wanted to be well seared on every part you know and that will be it and after that i'm just going to transfer it into the jollof so now i'm done cooking all my seafood and i'm going to put them together here with the jollof and as you can see this is soft like this is softer than i would want to make my jollof but my husband and kids all like soft jollof so i have to compromise and when i make um regular jollof what i call regular because that's what i like my daughter is like that is plastic mommy you cook plastic so i make it this way and everybody's happy but when we have guests i try to you know go in between or try to make it what would be desirable so it wouldn't be like she can't even cook jollof you know to me if i'm sorry to say but that was always my thought until i have a family and i have to do what they want like you know typical jollof you want it to be like one one so anyway i've put the scallops and i've now added my shrimp and i'm staring trying to get everything to be you know all well mixed up and well situated in my pot which is i know tiny but i love cooking with it and now i'm adding my salmon and as you can see i've broken it up a little bit so it's gonna be everywhere in the jollof and that is it that is my seafood jollof i'm just gonna go ahead and cover this for the flavors to really work up some more you know everything so the jollof itself would taste like seafood and smell like seafood and we are done very simple very quick except for cooking the fish this would have been like 30 minutes and we are all good look at that perfect they love this so here we are seafood jollof sitting pretty waiting for my family members to come to the table so we can enjoy this great meal and what a great family meal it was they loved it i got thumbs up from ivana and my husband, he hijacked everything. Um, I tell you, this is all that I had of this jollof rice. He said, I'm taking everything to work. You know, for the rest of the week, you can have the fried rice and everything. But the fried rice, of course, was my way. 
so this is all I had but it's all good we cook not only for us but for others to enjoy and if my family enjoys it so be it so I hope you give this a try and I know they will love it and until I come your way next time with something delicious be loving be kind be happy